What's up guys and welcome back to another Rune Terra video. Riot is going absolutely insane with these champion reveals for Bilgewater. Obviously they all have to be released by the 30th and I heard actually by the 28th because that's when the actual patch is going to be released. So without further ado, let's see what the Titan of the Depths Nautilus is bringing to Rune Terra. Ride. Nautilus. Uh, toughness, fearsome. When I level up, copy toss allies that cost four plus into your deck. He levels up when he's deep. So we're tossing again, kind of similar to what Maokai was doing. I feel I feel like it's... Obviously, this is only the second champion that's doing it, but maybe there's a theme that they're going to do with the bigger champions. Jettison, burst, toss four. Okay. New keyword, deep. Plus three, three once, your deck has 15 or fewer cards. So not three, three once. Once your deck has 15 or fewer cards, three, three. Had to lower the volume a bit there. Okay, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on, pause. Go back. Go back. Go back. Sea, sea monster allies cost four less. Plate worm egg. If I'm tossed, draw me instead. Summon three vicious plate worms. This is a really cool archetype. Yo, with fearsome? Oh, this is a big boy. Nautilus looks freaking scary. Okay, so what exactly okay i was about to say what exactly is deep it told us what deep is so deep is once there's 15 or fewer cards in their deck everything you play has three three oh no no anything with deep gets three three okay anything that has deep gets three three which is wild because deep is going to give those cards three three and then sea monsters get buffed by nautilus when he's leveled up Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. They don't get buffed. They cost four less. So you're going to get these super buffed up cards that are coming out for cheap. For example, cost four less, right? This card is going to be a 7-7 seven, seven for zero. What? That is insane. And then he doesn't have to see you toss the cards, right? And it says when you are deep. Okay, so and then deep means when there's 15 or fewer cards. Got it. So he's a big 0 12 with toughness and fearsome. He's a seven cost, so he's late game. But he's probably, honestly, if you're playing a lot of toss cards, maybe if you somehow mix this with Shadow Isles, uh, Maokai stuff, so you can synergize the keyword, then maybe you can get deep pretty fast, but then right still turn seven to get him out but this actually looks like an archetype that in and of itself is going to be super powerful one thing i will say <clears throat> excuse me one thing i will say with stuff like this with nautilus is that this may invite shadow isles to kind of stick around because so far as far as i know with my card pool knowledge they're the only ones that really has a like card that just kills a card you know what I mean? So him having like all this toughness coming out turn seven, turn seven is also a vengeance turn. So um, it might support Shadow Isle sticking around and remaining a strong uh, in the meta. But I think this deck is scary. And you don't have to like toss as many cards as Maokai. Maokai is trying to mill himself and then out mill your opponent. Not out mill, but then mill out your opponent. Or just have they have no resources. This is only milling to a certain extent, and then it just gains a huge buff. That's so deep. That's so dope. I, I love that. I almost said that's so deep. <laughs> 13 13 with toughness and fearsome. Oh man. This is cool, man. I, I love I love um these like themed, very solid themed ideas. I will not rest. 
Insane. Insane Nautilus is looking amazing. That's probably, I'd say the one I'm second, second, most excited about, maybe third. Maybe third. Oh, I'm upset they didn't have a Nautilus one. Don't they have one for each character? Maybe I forgot. I don't remember what the end of his was, but that was super cool. You know how we do here. Let's check out some of the other cards on Twitter. I'm going to try not to see. I'm trying not to like see too much of everything else. Okay. We got some cards right here and I think, okay, this is fine. If I go past it. Okay. This is fine. Okay. Right here. So everything from here down, we're good. So let's look at the cards right above the video here. So treasure trove five cost slow. If I'm tossed, draw me instead, create five random cards in your hand. They cost zero and are fleeting. Okay, this, once again, tossed synergy. I feel like you can put this in a Maokai deck, Shadow Isles, Bilgewater. And now you have a card that says, if I'm tossed, draw me instead, create five random cards in hand. They cost zero and are fleeting. So for Maokai as well, I feel like this can also work. Um, if we're just talking about deck theories here uh, that are not just Bilgewater. So as a card, I think that's really cool for anything that has a toss effect. And... I mean, just any of these that are saying, if I'm tossed, do this as well. So you're not just getting cards out of your deck and losing that value. You're gaining something out of it. So these cards are really, really good. Just generally speaking with toss decks. Uh, if I'm tossed, draw me instead. Summon three vicious plate worms. This is, this is cool. Definitely a lot better with Nautilus and, and what he brings to the table. But once again, still getting value from a card that you're milling. And then Vicious Plate Worm just by themselves. 555 five, five with Fearsome and Deep. Not, not a bad card in and of itself. I like that. And then obviously the Nautilus art. So sick. So cool, man. Love it, love it, love it. Shipwreck Hoarder, deep. When I'm summoned, toss two, shuffle two treasures into your deck. Okay, and treasures are the spells that we're seeing. Some of them. Let me see. We saw it one earlier. Treasure Trove, listed as a treasure. So they almost have like... um. Basically, archetypes of certain spells as well. That way, they continue to synergize with that region or that theme. Uh, yeah, when I'm summoned, toss two and shuffle two treasures instead of the deck. I like that. I like that. And then deep, this is going to get three, three. Once there's 15 or fewer cards. So, I mean, it's a 10-8 at that point. Um, with Nautilus being level up, this is a three-drop 10-8. That shuffles two treasures into the deck. Wild. Absolutely wild. Drag dredgers when I'm summoned, toss three. Okay, so this is just, you know, getting uh getting the deck going. Beast below. Four 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 with deep. It's a seven seven with deep. It's a zero cost. This is the card I said it's nutty with Nautilus. That card is bananas. Salvage, toss two, draw two. So you're tossing and you're drawing. So you have a little bit of card uh, you know, that you can get into hand. So that's uh that's actually really, really neat. Water rises. There's Nautilus. Riptide. Stun an enemy. Shuffle that unit into the enemy deck if there's an ally Nautilus. Interesting. Interesting. And it's a, it's a fast spell. And then Jettison. Just toss four. That is freaking cool. Yeah, I mean, I think there's definitely synergy to be said uh, with... With the other toss that uh, the other toss deck with Maokai, um, I think we might see some people try that for sure. I'm gonna try it. You know, I definitely like building decks just in general. So if you're you're also just a casual player, I feel like this is also a great channel for you because I just like to come up with fun ideas. Uh, a lot more so than with a lot more so than with physical TCGs. I get way more creative when I have digital game cards in, you know in front of me and I can just kind of just go ham creating a bunch of different decks. But I will say I'm super excited for Nautilus to join Legends of Runeterra. And guys, I, I mean, uh, he's definitely a top three for me out of all the new champions that we've seen. So let me know what you think about Nautilus, the Titan of the Deep, down in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so that you know when we are going to drop a new video, which is probably gonna be later today because we have another champion to go over. I'll see you at the next one. Have a good one, guys.